Okay, cool. So we're going to do a 60 minute 26 and two yoga class. Let me just adjust this angle a little bit. Um, and let's see, because we're not in a 105 degree room, although it is pretty hot outside in BC right now, um, we're going to do a little bit of a warm up. Today we'll do three rounds of sun salutations and I'll walk you through um, different forms of those. Um, with yoga in general and with the sun salutations as well, if what I'm doing doesn't work for you, you can skip it, you can do something else or you can modify. For the sun salutations, I'll give you some modifications. So for you, you're gonna start towards the top of your mat. I will show you from peripheral vision. And the thing to know with sun salutations is every movement includes an inhale or an exhale. So it's very breath driven. Take a moment with your feet close together. Bring your weight into your toes. Rock your weight back into your heels and give yourself permission to arrive in the present moment. Okay, starting with hands at heart center. Sun salutation A. As you inhale, lift your arms up. Look up overhead as if you're waving to the sun. Hi, sun. As you exhale, suck your stomach in, bend your knees, go down, arms with your ears. Put your hands on the floor, drop your head. As you inhale, halfway lift, weight in your toes. You can have your hands on your thighs, shins, eventually the floor, chin away from your chest, back flat. As you exhale, bend your knees, plant your hands on the floor and step back into a high plank. And if high plank isn't working for you, you can always come down onto your knees in tabletop. If you wanna come into tabletop, maybe do a couple cat cows. If you're staying in plank, hold it here with me for three breaths. Slow inhale through the nose. Slow exhale through the nose. Inhale through the nose, exhale through your nose. One more time, inhale through your nose. And this time as you exhale, you're gonna bend your knees and lower down in the chaturanga. Inhale, come up. You can either do baby cobra, halfway lift, elbows bent, or you can do up dog, thighs off the floor, arms straight. From here, exhale, tuck your toes under down dog. And if down dog does not work for you today, Rather than down dog, go into a child's pose, hips down, arms forward. So you can either do child's pose or down dog. Spread your fingers wide, bend one knee, straighten the other. Root down through all 28 knuckles. Lift your heels up, pardon me, lift your hips up. Eventually, heels come down to the floor. Look between your hands. Inhale, step your hands, uh, step your feet forward between your hands. Exhale, relax your head down. Inhale, root to rise. Arms with your ears, come up, look up, saluting the sun. Exhale, hands down at heart center. Good, second set. Inhale, lift your arms up overhead, look up, high sun. Exhale, fold forward, hands on the floor, drop your head. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, weight in your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, hands on the floor, step back into tabletop or plank. For plank, hug your elbows in, spread your shoulders wide. Lift your heels up, contract your thighs, Hips down, stomach in. Just building a little bit of body heat. Good. For chaturanga, bend your elbows in and slowly lower down. Inhale, come up halfway, either to baby cobra or up dog. For up dog, thighs are off the floor. If your thighs do not come off the floor, keep your elbows bent. Exhale, tuck your toes under, down dog or child's pose. For down dog, root down. The space between your index fingers and thumbs, push down there. Spread your shoulders wide, drop your head, lift your hips. Try to sink your heels closer to the floor. On your next inhale, look between your hands, step forward. Exhale, drop your head. Inhale, root to rise, arms with your ears, come up, look up, breathe in the sun. Exhale, hands down. Good, last one. Inhale, arms up, looking up, hello sun. Exhale, fold forward, stomach in, drop your head. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, hands on the floor, step back into tabletop or high plank, holding here for three breaths. On your next exhale, lower down. Inhale, come up, back bend, up dog. Exhale, tuck your toes under, down dog, or child's pose. Try to lift your hips up, spread your shoulders wide. Bring your chest closer to the floor, maybe ribs closer to thighs. Good, look between your hands, inhale, step forward. Exhale, drop your head. Inhale, arms with your ears, come up, look up. Exhale, arms down. 
Good. So from here, we'll do traditional 26 and 2 yoga, starting with pranayama deep breathing. Bring your feet together, toes, heels touch. Interlock your 10 fingers, cross your thumbs, glue your knuckles underneath your chin. Rock your weight into your heels. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. You made it to pass. Concentrate. Meditate and begin. Inhale, chin down and arms up. Breathe in through your nose. Lift your elbows up. Suck your stomach in. Fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up. Exhale through your mouth. H-A. Sound head back. Arms forward. Elbows touch. Good. Inhale. Slowly bring your chin down. Look straight ahead. Lift your elbows all the way up. Fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your head back. Look way, way, way back for the wall behind you. Elbows touch away from your body. Inhale, head down, breathe in through your nose, down through your throat to the very bottom of your lungs. Exhale, head up. As you exhale, open your mouth wide. Keep exhaling until your lungs are empty. Inhale, head down. Every you inhale, you want to take in more air than the last breath to expand your lung capacity. Exhale, head up. The more you exhale here, the more fresh oxygen you can take in on your next breath. Push the air out. Inhale, head down. So make this the deepest breath so far, breathing into the top of the lungs, middle of the lungs, bottom of the lungs, full lungs. Exhale, head up. This truly is a breathing exercise. The lungs need to be worked out just like any other part of the body. Inhale, head down. This is the last breath in the first set. Stretch your spine a little longer. Lift your elbows a little higher. Suck your stomach in. Breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up. Take your time. Eyes open, hips forward, legs locked, stomach in, keep exhaling, push, squeeze, elbows touch, change, arms down, curl out your shoulders, your head. Um, second set might be a little more familiar, maybe you can breathe deeper, I'll show you from the side. So feet together, interlock your ten fingers, cross your thumbs, glue your knuckles under your chin, squeeze your thighs, squeeze your butt, grow taller out of the base of your spine, and begin, inhale, chin down and arms up, breathe in through your nose, lift your elbows up, suck your stomach in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up, exhale through your mouth, <sighs> head back, arms forward, elbows touching away from your body. Inhale, head down. Keep the weight in your heels, squeeze your thighs, squeeze your butts, lock your legs. Exhale, head up, weight stays in your heels and just your head drops back. No backward bending, keep shoulders over hips, hips over heels, weight in the heels. Inhale, head down. As you inhale, open your rib cage wide, expand your rib cage, expand your lung capacity. Exhale, head up, even as you exhale, suck your stomach in, squeeze your palms together, wrists together, forearms, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, let's do two more breaths in the second set, making this the deepest breath so far. Can you bring your elbows back as well as up? Exhale, head up, can you grow taller? Even as you exhale, slowly head back, chest up, arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, last breath, second set, deepest breath of your life when your lungs are totally full. Surprise yourself, take in one more sip of air. Exhale, head up, take your time, let everything go through the exhale breath. Any worries, any cares, let them go. Be here now, elbows touch. Change. Arms down. Continuing half moon with hands to feet pose. Feet together. Inhale your arms over your head sideways, palms together. Interlock your fingers. Release your index fingers. Cross your thumbs. Stretch up out of your waist and bend right and left, right and left. Every time you pass through the middle, stretch up a little taller like you're trying to touch the ceiling. And when you can't stretch anymore, come to stop in the middle for half moon. Weight in your heels. Push your hips a little forward, squeeze your palms together, touch your arms to your ears, do your best. Inhale, breathing, stretch up out of your waist, try to touch the ceiling. Exhale, breathing, absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the right as you push your hips to the left, beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling in the left side of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes. Just remember it's the first posture of the day and there's no rush, know where you need to be. Nothing you have to prove to yourself or anyone else. All you have to do is breathe in and out through your nose. Let your breath be your guide. As you inhale, lengthen your arms. As you exhale, come down, push, push, push. Change, inhale to come up, stop in the middle. Hips forward, arms back, stretch up tall, and slowly bend your body to the left in a straight line. Without bending your elbows and knees, continuously push your hips to the right beyond your flexibility, creating a tremendous stretching feeling in the right side body, but don't collapse. It's worth um, noting that I'm not nearing you, so it might look like I'm bending my body to the right, but I'm actually bending my body to the left. 
you are welcome to either follow my words or to follow my body. Know that in general, we will do the right side of postures first. Keep the weight in your heels. Bring your arms back with your ears. Come down, push, push, push. Change, inhale to come up. First back bend of the day. Take a deep breath, full lungs. Keep your eyes open. And at first, just work to relax your head all the way back. Then bring your arms back with your ears. Try to touch the wall behind you. Full spine backward, bending from coccyx to the neck. Lower back, middle back, upper back. Bend your total spine backward, bending. Try to fall down backwards. Maximum weight in your heels. Inhale, breathing. Push stomach, thighs, hips, everything forward and bring your arms back. Look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back. Change, awesome. Inhale to come up, stretch up. Exhale, bend your knees, go down. Put your hands on the floor, drop your head, and then go for another walk. Move your hips, shake your head. This is a U-turn from back bending to forward folding. At the beginning of class, your spine might not be quite warmed up yet. Move your hips to get your lower back nice, relaxed, comfortable, easy, flexible. Hands to feet pose, padastasana, bend your knees. At first, try to grab the backs of your calves. And if that's easy, bend your knees a little bit more and grab your heels from behind. Step on all 10 fingers. Bend your elbows back behind you. Touch stomach to thighs, chest to knees. If you're able, touch your face to your shins below your knees. No room for light and air between the upper and lower body. Pull on your heels, roll your weight forward into your toes, and gently lift your hips up to stretch your spine down. So pull, roll the weight into your toes, lift your hips up, stretch your spine down. Good, change, come up, knees can bend as you come up, arms with your ears, just like in the sun salutation, nice. Arms down, and you stand a little taller. That's the whole goal, just standing a little taller. Second set, feet together, inhale your arms over your head sideways, palms together, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs. Push your hips a little forward, head and arms back, squeeze palms together, stretch up, and slowly drop to the right as you push your hips to the left. Come down in a straight line, so no bend in the elbows or knees. Continuously push your hips to the left, keep your arms with your ears, weight in your heels, Push your hips a little forward, lean your upper body back. Push your left hip forward to get your two hips in line. Now bring your right shoulder forward to get your two shoulders in line. Keep your chest super open, arms with your ears, palms together. Inhale, lengthen your arms. Exhale, come down, push, push, push. Change, inhale to come up, stop in the middle, reset. Hips forward, arms back, stretch up tall, and slowly drop to the left as you push your hips to the right. For my flexi folks, notice if your lower back is bending like you're sticking your butt out, Push your hips forward, suck your stomach in, slide your breastbone up, keep your chin away from your chest. It's a very proud posture and you have so much to be proud of for practicing yoga today. Final adjustments, right hip forward, two hips in line, left shoulder forward, open your chest like a flower petal blooming, come down, push and push and push. Change, inhale to come up, second heart opener, Take a deep breath, full lungs, keep your eyes open, drop your head back, and then trace your fingers along the ceiling. Imagine your arms are an extension of your spine. It's hard for me to talk and do at the same time, so just join me in a back bend for 10 seconds. Change, inhale to come up, stretch up. Exhale, bend your knees, go down, rush of blood to the head, drop your head, put your hands on the floor, and then go for another walk, move your hips, shake your head. Notice what's a little bit more loose in the second set, what's still a little tight, there's no right or wrong. Second set, hands to feet, pose, padastasana, bend your knees, tuck your heels from behind, step on all 10 fingers, bend your elbows, touch stomach to thighs, chest to knees, face on the shins, so from the side you look like a grilled cheese sandwich, no room for lighted air between the upper and lower body. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, and lift your hips up. Stretch your upper body down. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes. Lift your hips up. Stretch your spine one day, even lock your legs. Good. Change. Come up. Arms with your ears. Knees can bend. Nice. Arms down, and you let that go. Right away. Awkward. Ukatasana. Step your right foot to the right. Six inches, hip width distance, insides of your feet perfectly parallel. Bring your arms up, parallel to the floor, tricep muscles tight. Suck your stomach in, bend your knees, sit back and down into a chair. Feet flat position, spine straight to begin with. 100% of your body weight in your heels. Sit down, halfway only. Suck your stomach in, now lean your upper body back. Lift your chin up, chest up, lean back, fall back, way back, try to fall down backwards at the end. 
change. Inhale to come up, keep your arms there. Push your hips a little forward. Now come up all the way on your tiptoes. So we're starting to play around with balance. Lift your heels, stretch tall, bend your knees, sit down. So keep lifting your heels, even as you sit. Push your big toes down and your pinky toes down. Heels a little higher, knees a little higher. Sit down into a chair, but don't sit below a chair. Change. Inhale to come up, last part, still breathing. Heels down, squeeze your knees together. Let your heels come just a little bit off the floor and slowly sit down. There's no obligation to sit all the way down. Stop whenever you want or when you're a half inch off your heels. Squeeze your knees together and forward. Lift your chest and change. Slowly push the floor away from you. Good, heels down, right foot back, arms down. Take a breath. Let's do second set. Step your right foot to the right hip width distance. I'll show you from the side. Insides of your feet parallel, arms up parallel to the floor, tricep muscles tight, suck your stomach in, three, two, one, bend your knees, sit back and down. So the first part's like a gym squat, right? You want to stick your butt out and fold forward. Suck your stomach in and from here lean back. Notice if your shoulders are tensing or your arms are lifting up, keep your arms parallel, shoulders down, weight in your heels, lift your chin up, chest up, change, inhale to come up, keep your arms there, hips a little forward, so spine straight, Suck your stomach in, now lift your heels up. Lift your heels a little higher, stretch up tall, bend your knees, sit down. Lean back, so rather than folding forward, lean back, heels a little higher, knees a little higher, sit down into a chair, but don't sit below a chair. Change, inhale to come up, heels down. Squeeze knees together, thighs together, let your heels come a little off the floor, and slowly sit down, like you're sliding your back down a wet marble wall. Squeeze your knees together and forward, never resting. You want a gap between your heels and your butt. Suck your stomach in and change. Slowly come up, push the floor away from you. Good, heels down, right foot back, arms down. Eagle pose, Garasana. We'll do the right side first. Inhale your arms over your head. Exhale, swing your right arm under your left arm, right under left. You can grab shoulders, you can interlace fingers, or if hands in prayer, you want thumbs towards your nose, pinkies away from your face. Pull your elbows down, bend your knees, sit down, lean back, and bring your right leg over your left leg, right over left. Cross twist. At first, your foot's hanging out. Eventually, wrap your right foot behind your left calf muscle. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing your balance, arch your upper body back. Bring knees to the right, upper body to the left. Twist like ropes. Lift your chin and chest. Good. Change, feet together, inhale your arms over your head, left side, exhale, left arm under the right arm, left under the right, thumbs towards your nose. Pull elbows down, bend your knees, sit down, lean back, and bring your left leg over your right leg, left over right. Cross twist, eventually wrap your foot. It's worth noting we're not symmetrical, right? This side might feel way different. You might know why, like an injury or just a general tightness in your body, or you might have had no idea until now that your left hip is way tighter than your right hip, and that's okay too. We're just breathing through anything that comes up in the body and in the mind. Arch your upper body back at the end. Good, change. Feet together, inhale your arms over your head, right in the second set. Exhale, right arm under your left arm, right under the left, try to get wrist straight. Pull your elbows down, bend your knees, sit down. Stay down there, lean back, and bring your right leg up and over your left leg. Think like hamstring over quadricep. Cross twist, still breathing. Second set, if it feels okay, sit down more. So sit a little bit lower, breathe a little bit deeper, suck your stomach in, everybody arch your upper body back at the end. Good, change. Feet together, inhale your arms over your head, last one. Exhale, left arm under your right arm, palms together, pull your elbows down, bend your knees, sit down, lean back, and bring your left leg over your right leg, cross twist, breathe slowly. Knees to the left, upper body to the right. In other words, push your right hip forward, two hips in line, left shoulder forward, shoulders over hips. You want wrists over elbows, elbows over knee, knee over ankle, weight in the heel, sit down more, arch your upper body back at the end. Good, change. Feet together, inhale your arms over your head, exhale, arms down, party time, grab a sip of water if you want. Cheers, cheers. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, cool. So for the next three postures, we will continue to balance on one leg. If you fall out, hop back in. The idea is if you fall out of a posture five times, 
you hop back in six times, and when you fall out the sixth time, you hop back in the seventh time. Never, ever, ever give up. Standing head to knee, Dande Mana Johnny Shrasana, lock your left leg. Lift your right leg up, flex your toes back, suck your stomach in. Round forward and pick up your right foot. All 10 fingers interlocked. Nice tight grip, please don't lose the grip. You can stay here in the setup. If you know your standing leg is locked, no bend, no wobble. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently lift your right leg up. Stretch it forward until your leg is exactly parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower, standing leg locked. If both legs lock from the side legs, make an L like Linda, then bend your elbows down. Touch your elbows to your calf muscles. One day, elbows go below the calf muscles. Lock your leg, lock your leg, lock your leg. Change, slowly reverse out. Good stuff. I'll show you this one from the side. Shift your weight to your right leg. Evenly distribute your body weight on your right foot. The goal is to keep your hips over your heel. Lift your left leg up, flex your toes back, stomach in. As you're ready, round down. So try to push your hips forward, even as you pick up your foot. Standing legs should be solid, concrete, one piece, slam post, unbroken, you have no need. Your standing leg is locked, inhale, lift your left leg up. And it's a real kick, kick your heel forward, flex your toes back, you're training your Achilles to stretch. If your standing leg is bending, posture hasn't started. If both legs lock, then bend elbows down. Touch elbows to calf muscles, keep bringing your chest down. One day elbows go below the calf muscles. Everybody, heel forward, toes back, lock your leg. Good, change, slowly. Reverse out. You can put your hands on your back, do a little back bend or an e bend curtsy. Whoa, second set, shift your right to your left leg, lock your left leg and lift your right leg up. Actively flex your toes back, suck your stomach in, round forward and pick up your foot. All 10 fingers interlocked. Concentrate, meditate, don't forget to have fun. Inhale, lift your right leg up, heel forward, toes back. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. Elbows go below calf muscles, and you can balance comfortably. Slowly tuck your chin to your chest. Put your forehead on your knee. Lock your leg. Lock your leg. Lock your leg. Take your time. Reverse out just the way you went in. One day, right? Shift your weight to your right leg. Push your big toe down. Lift your leg up. Toes back. Stomach in. Round down and pick up your foot. So if your big toe keeps coming off the floor, you're leaning back too much, hips forward. Stomach in, here we go. Lift your left leg up, heel forward, toes back. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. If elbows go below calf muscles, slowly tuck your chin to your chest. Put your forehead on your knee. Take your time reversing out just the way you went in. Nice, go team. Okay, that was a forward curl. Next, we do a big back bend, a chest opener, standing bow pulling pose. If you're new, listen extra careful in the next like 10 seconds for the grip. Feet together, I'll show you at an angle. Bring your right hand up, bring it out to the right, palm faces the ceiling, you can give yourself a high five. Cool, reach back without turning or twisting your wrist. Pick up the inside of your right ankle, at the ankle bone, knees together, hips square. Bring your left arm up, arm back with your ear. Lift your chin, lift your chest, stretch up tall, and when you're ready, slowly charge your body forward. Simultaneously kick your right leg back and up. Come down. Bring the body down and the leg up. See the foot come directly over the top of your head from the side, two heels in line. Kick back and up, two shoulders in line. Kicking, stretching, equal, simultaneous, 50-50. Harder you kick, you can balance forever. Kick really hard. Body down more, leg up more, kick, kick, kick. Good, change, kick yourself out. Feet together, arms down. I'll show you this one from the side. Bring your left hand up, bring it out to the left, reach back without turning or twisting your shoulder, elbow, or wrist. Pick up the inside of your left ankle, knees together, hips square. Right arm up, arm back with your ear. Lift your chin, lift your chest, stretch up tall, and when you're ready, charge your body forward as you kick your left leg back and up. Remember kicking, stretching, equal, simultaneous, 50-50. The harder you kick, you can balance forever. Kick really hard. Start to come down. So the left foot stacks directly on top of the right foot. You have to come down a lot. So two heels in line. Push your right fingertips forward, two shoulders in line. Body down more, leg up more. Kick, kick, kick. Good, change. Slowly kick yourself out, feet together. Arms down. Second set. Bring your right hand up. Bring it out to the right. Reach back without turning or twisting your wrist. 
pick up the inside of your ankle, knees together, hips even. Left arm up and back with your ear. Lift your chin, lift your chest, stretch up really tall and slowly kick, stretch and breathe. That's all you have to do. Kick into your hand, stretch forward towards the mirror, breathe through your nose. Body down more, leg up more, push your left fingertips forward, kick, kick, kick. Good, change, kick yourself out. Last one, you can do it, bring your left hand up, bring it out to the left, reach back, pick up the inside of your left ankle, at the ankle, knees together, right arm up, back with your ear. Lift your chin, lift your shoulders, stretch up tall, and slowly kick, stretch, and breathe. All five fingers together, thumb with your index finger, palm of your right hand faces the floor. Get your right arm parallel to the floor, not too high, not too low, parallel. Body down to parallel, so everything parallel. Body down more, leg up more, push your right fingertips forward, kick, kick, kick. Good, change, kick yourself out, very nice. Come to the back of your mat and tell Tool Dandasana balancing stick. Feet together, inhale your arms over your head sideways, palms together, interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs. Step your right foot forward, a big step, lock both legs, point your left toes and slowly tilt like a seesaw. Arms, body, head, legs, everything parallel to the floor, so from the side. Body makes a T like Tom, not a broken umbrella. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Good, change, left foot down. Right foot back, arms back, lean back. Step your left foot forward, lock both legs, point your right toes and tilt. Arms and legs in one meridian, like there's a board strapped to your back. Slowly come down. As your chest comes down, keep lifting your right leg up. Body down, leg up, stretch. Good, change, right foot down, left foot back, arms down, take a breath. Second set, feet together. Inhale your arms over your head, palms together, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs. Step your right foot forward, lock both legs, lift your left foot and slowly tilt. So one day coming down to parallel, I'm gonna stay right here and focus on stretching my fingers away from my head. So charge your body forward, body down, heel up, stretch. Good, change, left foot down, right foot back. So you wanna stretch the whole time. Step your left foot forward, lock both legs, point your right toes and tilt. So charge your body forward, Push your fingertips forward, shoulder blades, scapula coming out of the body. Everybody right hip down, right foot up, stretch, stretch, stretch. Nice change, right foot down, left foot back, arms down. Enough of that, come to the top of your mat and towel. Um, you're welcome to stay on the long side of your mat. I'm gonna face you. For the next three postures, the standing separate leg series, we're gonna flow them together. So we'll go from stretching to triangle to head to knee. Standing separate leg stretching. Inhale your arms over your head. Exhale, step your right foot to the right, four feet minimum. Arms down parallel to the floor. Turn your toes in. Lock your legs, lift your chest, and swan dive forward. Look forward all the way down. If you're able, grab your heels from behind. Now, if you can't grab your heels, try taking a bigger or smaller step. If you still can't grab your heels, you can grab the outsides of your feet or start with your hands on the floor in front of you. Everybody, roll forward. Push your big toes down, lift your hips up. Now contract your thighs, lock your legs. Good, change, slowly come up, take your time. Once you're at the top, we're gonna float a triangle. Take a wider step. Push your hips forward, lean your upper body back. Turn your right foot out, left toes can turn in a little bit. Inhale, bend your right leg, sit as low as you can. Taking a bigger step might help you sit down more. Sit down, lean back, and move your arms at the same time. Right elbow in front of the knee, left arm up to the ceiling. Look up towards the ceiling and breathe. In and out through your nose. Push your left hip forward and down. Push your right knee back with the help of your elbow turn. Twist upper body back like spine twisting posture. Lock your left leg, keep your left foot flat on the floor. Change, reverse out, rotate your arms, straighten your right leg, right toes in, left toes out, make sure two heels in line. Inhale, bend your left leg and sit as low as you can. You want your knee directly over your ankle, not to the right of your ankle, not beyond your ankle. Sit down, lean back, and move your arms. Left elbow in front of the knee, right arm up to the ceiling, stretch down. Aim your left fingertips between your big and second toe, but don't touch the floor. Don't push any weight on the floor, hover just above. Look up towards the ceiling and stretch up. As your right hip sinks down, lift your right shoulder up. So right thigh down, right shoulder up. Turn, twist upper body back, lock your right leg. Right foot flat on the floor. 
change, rotate your arms, push your left heel into the floor to come up, left toes in. Inhale your arms over your head sideways, palms together, cross your thumbs. Take a slightly smaller step for standing separate leg head to knee. Pivot on your heels to one side of the room. Push your hips forward one, two, three, four, five times. Two hips in line, two heels in line. Turn your back foot in to a 45 degree angle. Stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest and you go down. Chin, tuck to chest, round your spine, touch your forehead to your knee. To touch your knee and head together, you can take a little bit of a bigger step. You can turn your back toes in more and you can always bend your front leg. Tuck your chin to your chest, touch your exactly knee and head together, front side compression, throat choked, eyes open, breathing normal. Push your forehead into your knee a couple times, lock both legs, hands together, change. Slowly uncurl, left hip forward, two hips in line, head up last. Good, pivot on your heels, pivot on your heels. Make sure you still have three to four feet between your feet, uncross your heels. Turn your back foot in and then push your hips forward until your two hips are in line. Stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, go down. So two hips in line, two heels in line, back side foot makes a 45 degree angle. Stretch all 10 fingers beyond your big and second toe. Again, you can bend your front leg as much as you want, touch your knee and head together. Bring maximum weight to your front foot. Left hip up, right hip forward, forward, forward. Try to keep your two hips in line. Push your forehead into your knee, lock both legs, hands together, change, uncurl without twisting. So right hip forward, two hips in line, head up, last. Good, pivot on your heels, right foot back, arms down. High five, high five, second set right away, stretching pose. Inhale your arms over your head, I'll show you this one from the side. Exhale, step your right foot to the right, toes in, heels out, lock your legs, lift your chest, swan dive forward. Do you wanna go down with a flat back? Grab your heels from behind, bend your elbows, roll forward, touch your head to the floor. If your forehead's not yet touching the floor, take a bigger step. If your forehead easily touches the floor, take a smaller step, Jamie, Jamie and Junia. Everybody roll forward. So you wanna make sure your back is flat. Um, notice if your spine is rounded, roll forward a little bit more, lift your chin and chest. Imagine your heart will touch the floor before your head. Good, change, slowly come up. Take a bigger step for triangle, trikonasana. Turn your right foot out, left toes in, bend your right leg, sit down. If your step is too short, you can't sit very long. Taking a bigger step will help you sit down, lean back, and move your arms. Right elbow in front of the knee, left arm up to the ceiling, look up and stretch up. You want one long diagonal line from your ankle all the way to the crown of your head. So try to sit your hips down and lift your chest up. Turn, twist up your body back like spine twisting posture. Lock your left leg, keep your whole left foot, even your pinky toe, flat on the floor. Good, change, rotate your arms, straighten your right leg, right toes in, left toes out, still breathing. Inhale, bend your left leg, sit down. Left leg should make an upside down L, like Linda. Sit down more and move your arms. Elbow in front of the knee, right arm up to the ceiling. Use your triceps, reach your right arm up, stretch your left arm down, feel your chest open up like a flower petal blooming. Turn, twist upper body back, sit down a little bit lower, lock your right leg. Keep your whole right foot flat on the floor. Change head to knee pose. Rotate your arms, straighten your left leg. Left toes in, arms up overhead, just your thumbs cross. You can take a little bit of a smaller step. Pivot to one side of the room, push hips forward one, two, three, four, five times. Stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, go down. Can you look at your belly button all the way down? You cannot see your right foot all the way down. Chin tuck to chest, touch your head and knee together. If your hands have separated, start to walk them back together, not because you have to, but because you can. Bring maximum weight to your front foot, right hip up, left hip forward, two hips in line. Push your forehead into your knee, lock both legs, hands together, change. Imagine you're dragging your forehead up your thigh, your chest, arms to your ears, head up last. Good, pivot on your heels, pivot on your heels, uncross your heels, push your hips forward, stretch up, Tuck your chin to your chest, go down. Arms with your ears, chin tuck to chest. This is a compression posture. Touching the forehead to a knee might sound arbitrary, but if you think about it, it's pretty cool. You're rounding your whole upper body over half of your lower body, right? True extension of the spine, true compression of the abdominal wall, suck your stomach in. Push your forehead into knee, lock both legs, hands together. 
change arms with your ears all the way up. Head up last. Good. Pivot on your heels. Right foot back, arms down. Right away, come to the middle of your mat and towel for the hip opening series, flowing tree to toe. Lock your left leg and lift your right leg up. At first, on top of the shin, the thigh. Eventually, pick up your foot from underneath. Heel to costume, sole of foot flat to ceiling. Slowly, gently, let your right knee drop down. Never force your knees. Right hand up to the center of your chest. And if you can balance without your foot sliding, left hand up, palms together, namaskar. You can stay here the whole time. You can also try another fun posture called toe stand. Suck your stomach in and start to fold forward. At first, fingers dangle forward, eventually hands to floor. Walk your hands forward, lean forward, lift your heel, bend your knee and sit down. Start to walk your hands back to either sides of your hands. Left hand up to the center of your chest. Right hand up, palms together. Elbows down, spine straight, maybe come a half inch off your heel. When you're ready, put your hands on the floor, lift your hips up, and push your hips forward to reverse out. You can also come up on two feet, no problem. Good, change, right leg down. Lock your right leg and lift your left leg up in anywhere. Eventually, heel to costume. Slowly, gently let your left knee drop down into a half lotus shape. One day from the side, two knees in line, but you want to feel it in your hip, not your knee. Left hand up, and if you can balance, right hand up. But if you're like me and your foot starts to fall, just continue to hold on to your foot with your hand. You can stay here. You can also flow to toe stand. Pick a spot on the floor. It helps with balance. Don't move your eyes. Suck your stomach in. Hold forward. Hands to floor. Walk your hands forward and lean forward, forward like Sheryl Sandberg. Lean in. Lift your heel. Bend your knees. Sit down. You can even bring your knees down to the floor. Now walk your hands back to either sides of your hips. Breathe through your nose. Left hand up. Right hand up. Elbows down. Spine straight. Come a half inch off your heel. When you're ready, put your hands on the floor. You can come up on two feet or to reverse out. Lift your hips to straighten your standing leg and then push your hips forward to come out just the way you went in. Nice. Change left leg down on yourself. Give yourself high five. Fist bump. Turn around. Svasana. I'm going to adjust some camera angles here. Okay. So we're on the floor for the rest of class. What a delight. So lie in Savasana with your head to the front of your mat and your feet to the back of your mat. Bring your heels together. Let your toes fall open. Arms down, close to your sides. Palms face the ceiling. Eyes open. Mouth closed. Breathing normal. Savasana is a gas station. Let it fill you up. Take a slow inhale through your nose. And a slow exhale through your nose. Slow inhale through your nose. And a slow exhale through your nose. Pavana Muttasana when removing pose. Lift your right leg up. Interlock your 10 fingers. Grab your right shin just below the knee. Pull your knee out and down and hold. Avoid your rib cage. Keep your head on the floor. Look down the center line of your body. Pull down extra hard. Maximum pressure in your lower abdomen. Good. Change. Right leg down. Left leg up. Interlock your 10 fingers just below your knee. Nice tight grip. Pull your knee out and down and hold still. Right leg on the floor. If your right leg doesn't naturally touch the floor, flex your right toes back to your face. Good. Change. Left leg down and both legs lift up. Grab your elbows, each other, or whatever you can. Keep your head on the floor. Give yourself a big hug. Two feet in line, two heels in line, side by side, not crisscross. Head on the floor, look down the center line of your body, hold still. Eventually, or in the future, when the bone joint skeletal system has improved, the whole spine, from coccyx to the neck, will be flat on the floor. Good, change, arms down, eyes open. Second set, right leg up, and lock your 10 fingers, maybe opposite thumb, pinky finger on top, switch your grip, pull your knee out and down. So actively push the pads of your fingers into the backs of your hands. It should be a white knuckle grip, really good for grip strength. Good. 
good. Change, right leg down, left leg up. So this posture is good for grip strength. It's good for opening the hips. It's actually part of the hip opening series, just like tree and toe. Um, and it's also good for digestion. You're very much on purpose putting pressure on your abdomen. Change, left leg down, both legs up. So you're massaging your colon here. It's called wind removing pose for a reason, right? As you put pressure on your lower abdomen, it helps to stimulate digestion. If you ever eat too much or have a stomach ache, this is a posture that you can do um, just like at home on your own. Squeeze knees together and down, head on the floor, look down and breathe. Good, change, arms down and eyes open. So some of these postures, like you wanna do warmed up, right? You wanna do them in sequence, but that's one of those that like, if you have a stomach ache, you can do out of sequence, just like as its own, you know, posture as an island. Um, and it'll help with your digestion, which is kind of nice. But like, I wouldn't recommend doing camel pose without warming up first, right? Okay, so next we're gonna do a straight leg sit up. If you have any um, concerns about your back today, skip the sit up by rolling off to the side. I'm actually going to skip the sit up today, but I will still walk you through it. Legs together, arms over your head, only cross your thumbs, tuck your chin to your chest, suck your stomach in, sit up. Exhale, grab your big toes, exhale, elbows to floor, forehead to knees. Everybody turn, lie down on your stomach for the spine strengthening series, starting with Cobra Bhujangasana, good for your lower lumbar spine. Place your hands flat on the floor, just below your shoulders, so your elbows point up. Bring your feet together like a cobra's tail. Feet flat on the floor, look up and lift. Stretch your upper body off the floor, beautiful. Use 100% lower spine strength. Come up halfway only, just your belly button on the floor, the rest of your chest is in the air. Elbows stay bent and make an L, a 90 degree angle like a rectangle. Don't forget about your cobra's tail. Keep your feet together, toes, heels touch. Lock your legs, push your feet down, hips down, hands down, look up, chin up, chest up, stretch up, breathe up. Good, change, slowly lower down, look to your right, left ear on the towel, arms down, palms face the ceiling, toes together, heels fall open. Take a slow inhale through your nose, and a slow exhale through your nose. Second set, bring your chin forward, hands flat on the floor, feet together. Lock your legs, look up, and lift. So contract your thighs, yeah? For a lot of us, when we lock the legs, the knees come off the floor, but the feet and the hips stay grounded. Notice what happens if you lift your hands off the floor for just a second. If you come down a whole bunch, um, then maybe stay there, yeah? So the hands are on the floor to start to wake up the back muscles, but you're not like pushing, right? It's your back strength um, working, lifting the chest up. Good, change, slowly lower down. Look to your left, right ear on the towel, arms down, heels out. So sometimes people wanna like hover their fingers above the floor the whole time. I don't recommend that. I believe that by pushing your hands down, you better activate the back muscles. But by that same token, you don't wanna be like using just your arm strength to push up. It's the back that's really working. Chin forward for Lokas Shalavasana. So chin forward, arm straight position, flip your palms down to face the floor, bring your arms underneath you as best you can. One day pinky fingers touch. Lock your right leg, eyes open, point your right toes, lift your right leg up to a 45 degree angle, half of 90, see the foot come directly over the top of your head. Lift your heel a little higher, hold here, breathe through your nose. Good, change slowly with control, lower your right leg down. Relax your right leg, lock your left leg, point your left toes, and this time lift your left leg up. See the foot come over the top of your head. If your foot's coming to the right of your head, if your left hip is lifted, drop your left hip down so your hip and forearm touch, and then spiral your inner left thigh up so sole of the foot is flat to the ceiling. Change slowly, lower your left leg down. Third part, tuck your chin down, mouth down. Long neutral neck here to protect your neck spine, mouth down. Bring your arms a little closer underneath you. Grab the floor, squeeze your butt, point your toes, and lift both legs up. Come up. Everybody come up, strike a little harder. You can do it, don't give up. Mouth down, shoulders down, squeeze your butt, lock your legs, lift your thighs up. Good, change slowly with control, lower down. Bring your arms out, look to the right. Take a slow inhale through your nose, and a slow exhale through your nose. Second set. Bring your chin forward, flip your palms down, bring your arms underneath you as best you can. Eyes open, lock your right leg, point your right toes, and lift your right leg up. So with the arms underneath the body, we're starting to stretch out the joints and ligaments, and we're also creating a little bit of a tourniquet effect on the arm joints on purpose. Change, right leg down, lock your left leg, point your left toes, and lift your left leg up. At the same time, we're increasing heart rate here, yeah? Press your shoulders down, grab the floor with your fingertips, see if you can lift your heel up, one more inch and hold. 
Good, change. Slowly lower your left leg down. Third part, grand finale. Make up your mind. Tuck your chin and mouth down. Spread your fingers wide. Maximum surface area with your palms. Squeeze your butt feet together. Point your toes and lift both legs up. Come up. Everybody come up. You can do it. Mouth down, shoulders down. Go, don't give up. Squeeze your butt more than you thought you could. Feet together. Lock your legs. Lift your heels up. Good, change. Slowly lower down. Bring your arms out, releasing the tourniquet effect. Look to the left and breathe. Imagine highly oxygenated blood flowing through your knuckles, wrists, elbows, and shoulders. The release from that posture is as therapeutic as the posture itself. Furnish all of us in full locus. Bring your chin forward, arms out to the side like airplane wings, feet together. Lock your legs, point your toes, look up, and lift arms, body, head, legs. Everything lifts off the floor, 747 is taking off. Just your hip bones on the floor, the rest of your body's in the air. Look up to the ceiling where your eyes go, body nose to follow. Lift your thighs up, chin up, chest up, look up, come up a little higher at the end. Good, change, slowly lower down, tuck in your wings, look to the right, still breathing. Just this angle, just a moment. Okay. Second set, bring your chin forward, arms out to the side, feet together, squeeze your butt, point your toes, look up and lift everything, lifting up. So in this posture, right, we're, part, or we're mostly through the spine strengthening series. Your back muscles have woken up by lifting the thighs and the chest off the floor at the same time. We're really working into back strength and it's a great opener through the shoulders and chest. So lift your thighs up, chin up, chest up, look up, come up a little higher at the end. Good, change, slowly lower down, tuck in your wings. Look to the left and continue to breathe. Last one on the stomach, Dhanurasana floor bow. Bring your chin forward, bend your legs, and grab one or eventually both feet from the outside. Squeeze your butt, point your toes, look up to the ceiling, and start to kick into your hands. Continuously keep kicking, beautiful. Without stopping, without intermission, it's the kick that drives the posture. So this posture is a full spine back bend. You wanna use the strength of your legs and glutes to kick to open the chest. And it's also good for digestion as you lie on your stomach. Try not to rock back and forth. Just do little sips of air in and out through your nose. Good, change, slowly lower down. That's so nice, you guys. Look to the right, left ear on the towel. Set, and set, bring your chin forward, bend your legs, grab your feet from the outside. All 10 fingers together, here we go. Point your toes, squeeze your buns, look up and kick hard into your hands. Now notice if your knees are way wider than your hips, yeah? Bring your knees in and feet out. Notice if your feet are touching, open your feet. So you wanna keep toes, heels, knees, hands, everything in line with your hips. Body down, thighs up, look up to the ceiling, kick, kick, kick. Lovely change, slowly lower down. Look to your left, right here on the towel, still breathing. In and out through your nose. Put your hands on the floor below your shoulders. Chin forward, tuck your toes under, Push up and let's hold a plank for five breaths. Just generating some heat. Okay, as you're ready, come to the top of your mat and towel for fixed firm, Supta Vajrasana. We're gonna work into knee, toe, and ankle tightness. I'll show you the first one from the side. So start in tabletop, open your feet and knees, and as you're ready, start to walk your hands back and sink your hips down. Eventually, your butt will touch the floor. Doesn't have to be today or tomorrow. If your hips touch the floor and you're not in pain, put your hands on your feet. Right elbow down, left elbow down, drop your head back, head on the floor. Eventually, tuck your chin and neck, shoulders on the floor, arms over your head, grab your elbows each other and fold. Wherever you are is perfect. You want a gentle stretch to your toes, ankles, knees, and hips, but never a point of pain. If your knees are coming off the floor, that can really hurt the toes and ankles over time, as well as like overstretch the knees. So come up a little bit until your knees stay on the floor. Good, change. Put your hands on your feet. Come up carefully. Head up last. Turn around. Savasana. Head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. As you release out of that posture, you release a tourniquet effect on the lower body. Lots of fresh blood rushing through the toes, ankles, knees, and hips. So like a good scientist, you wanna use the information that you've gathered so far in class to inform your actions. So like if your knees are hurting a lot, do second set, but do a little bit less. Never going to a point of pain. Okay, you can skip the sit up or legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. <laughs> Elbows to floor, forehead to knees, great. 
So we're gonna come to the top of your mat and tell second set. Open your feet, open your knees. Remember, you can stay here in tabletop the whole time. When you're ready, walk your hands back towards your feet, sink your butt down to the floor, put your palms on your soles, right elbow down, left elbow down, knees never come off the floor, drop your head back, head on the floor, tuck your chin in, neck, shoulders on the floor, arms over your head, grab your elbows, each other, and hold. If that's all gravy, walk your knees back together, but knees never come off the floor. Good, change, put your hands on your feet, push up, head up last, turn around, savasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. Take a slow inhale through your nose, slow exhale through your nose. You can roll off to the side here or legs together, arms over your head, flex your feet, squeeze your seat, sit up. <laughs> Okay, good. Turn, come to the back of your mat and towel for half tortoise, Ardha Karmasana. I'll show you from the side. Knees, feet together, hips on your heels, arms over your head, palms together, cross your thumbs. Stretch up tall and slowly go down. Forehead to floor, little fingers to floor, reach your arms forward, sink your hips down. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Good, change, slowly come up, squeeze your feet and palms together. Nice, arms down, turn around, savasana, savasana, every savasana, heels together, toes fall open, arms down, palms face the ceiling, eyes open, mouth closed, breathing normal. It's a specific posture, just like all the other ones. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up, try to keep your arms with your ears as you sit up. <laughs> Good, turn, come to the back of your mat and towel. Second set, half tortoise, knees, feet together, hips on your heels, arms over your head, palms together, same thing, arms with your ears, stretch up, then slowly go down. So if you've ever had shoulder tightness, you know how maddening this series of yoga is because there's so much arms with the ears, right? You slowly over time open the shoulders and the neck and the chest, but you're never forcing your body. Reach your arms forward, sink your hips down, re-energize, reorganize, revitalize. Good, change, come up, arms with your ears. Nice, arms down, turn around. Savasana, heels together, toes open, arms down, eyes open, still breathing. Try to soften through your jaw, shoulders, chest. Legs together, arms over your head, flex your feet, squeeze your seat, sit up, biceps with your ears. <laughs> Good, turn, come to the top of your mat and towel. Camel Ustrasana, our deepest back bend. Stand on your knees, six inches between your knees and feet. If you have tight knees, you can roll up your mat a little bit so there's extra padding under your knees. I'll show you first one from the side. Place your hands on your waistband spine, thumbs outside, fingers down to the floor. Push your hips forward, squeeze your butt. Keep your eyes open, and at first just look up towards the ceiling, and this might be enough for you today. If this feels okay, relax your head back. If that's okay, slowly go back halfway and freeze in the middle. When you're ready, right hand down, grab your right heel. Left hand down, grab your left heel. Thumbs outside, fingers inside, full palm grip on your heels. If you can't grab your heels, keep your hands on your back to support your spine. Push your hips forward, lift your chest up, relax your head back. Good, when you're ready to reverse out, put your hands on your back first, and then carefully push up without twisting your spine. Head comes up last. Turn around, Savasana. Head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. So that posture is intended to be um, a deep back bend, but not a spine twist. If you have to like twist to get in or out of it, you're not ready to grab your heels yet. Keep your hands on your back for as long as you want until eventually you can go back and grab the heels. Doesn't have to be today or tomorrow. Always do second set. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up, heels on the floor, round your spine, enjoy the stretch. Good. Turn, come to the top of your mat and towel. Second set. Second set, you can open your knees a little wider to open your hips more, so eight to ten inches between your knees, but still keep six inches between your feet. Put your hands on your lower back. Push your hips forward, keep your eyes open, and go slow. Remember, you can keep your hands on your back the whole time. When you're ready, drop your head back. That feels okay, go back halfway. One day, right hand down, left hand down. The goal is to stretch the front of the body and compress, bend, heal the spine. 
The result is that from time to time you will grab your heels. Please do not confuse goals and results. The goal is always you, feeling good when you leave the room. The result is that sometimes you will go deeper into the postures, but that is a byproduct, not the goal itself. When you're ready, put your hands on your back first and push up without twisting your spine. Head up last, good, turn around, so awesome. So we have this saying, um, yoga is like the only, I guess you could call it like sport or movement where the subject and object are different. So in baseball, the subject is baseball and the object is to win baseball, right? But in yoga, the subject is yoga, but the object is you. It's about you feeling good when you leave the room. So it doesn't really matter how deep you go into the postures as long as you're honoring your own truth, okay? Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. But with that, there's a little bit of discipline involved, right? You're not just like going off the rails. Okay, come to the middle of your mat and towel for rabbit sasangasana. Sit knees, feet together, make L's with your hands, flip the palms down, grab your heels from the outside. Stretch up tall, tuck your chin to your chest, go down. So in camel pose, we did a back bend. And then this one, we're reversing, we're rounding our spine. Forehead to knees, automatically top of head to floor. Pull on your heels, don't lose the grip, and lift your hips up. If there's a gap between your knees and head, you can walk your knees up one by one. Keep your head in place. If your grip is sliding or your feet are coming off the floor, ease up. There's very little weight in the head and neck. Squeeze your heels together. Press your hips forward. Suck your stomach in. Round your spine. Good. Change hips down. Slowly uncurl. Vertebra by vertebra. Disc by disc. Head up. Last. Good. Turn around. Savasana. Savasana. Let's do it again. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up, biceps with your ears. <laughs> okay, second set, rabbit, let's hop to it. Knees, feet together, hips on your heels. Make L's with your hands. Flip the L's down, grab your heels from the outside, stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, go down. Chin tuck to chest, forehead to knees, top of head to floor, pull on your heels, don't lose the grip, lift your hips up. If there's a gap between your knees and head, you can walk your knees up one by one. Squeeze your heels together. Squeeze your heels together. Squeeze your heels together. Sometimes you have to hear things a few times to internalize it. If nobody's told you yet today, you are loved. You are loved. You are so loved. Change, hips down, slowly uncurl, vertebra by vertebra, disc by disc, head up last, turn around, savasana. So I believe like the message of yoga is love, um, the medium is yoga, and the technique is discipline. Not like Catholic school discipline, but like dojo discipline, yeah? If you go into your yoga class, with a little bit of discipline, like attention to detail, you will come out more loving, not just towards yourself, but for others as well, and that is the goal. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. <laughs> okay, we're gonna finish with one set of head to knee, one set of stretching, flown straight into spine twist. Fine, here we go, right leg out, left leg in, two legs should make an L. Inhale your arms over your head, interlock your fingers. Turn to your right, tuck your chin to your chest, round your spine, Eventually, forehead to knees, elbows to floor. To touch your forehead to your knee, bend your right leg as much as you want. Now you're in business. Flex your toes back to your face, bend your elbows down, left elbow down, left shoulder down, roll in to the left. Good, change, arms up, left leg out, right leg all the way in, stretch up tall, turn to your left. Again, bend your left leg as much as you need, make it easy, touch your knee and head together. Interlock your 10 fingers up to the webbing, under the ball of your foot, and flex your toes back. This is a great Achilles stretch, especially if you do other sports. So this is the last of the compression postures. We're squeezing into our stomach. If it's easy to touch your forehead and knee together with a bent leg, keep going, heel forward, toes back, lock your leg, elbows down, right elbow down, right shoulder down, rolling to the right. Good, arms up, both legs out in front of you. If you're skipping, sit up, stay here. Otherwise, lie down on your back, let your spine realign, and sit up. For Pachimottanasana stretching, I'll show you from the side. So bend your knees, hook onto your big toes with your peace sign fingers, thumbs on top, and start to scoot your butt back. Knees can stay bent to help you keep a flat back, pop up your chest. Eventually, you'll wiggle back so much that your legs are straight, and if that's easy, see if you can lock your legs. Pop up your chest and start to bend elbows down. Going down with a flat back, stomach to thighs, pull. Chest to knees, stretch, one day toes and forehead touch. Good, change, come up, and remember we're gonna flow straight into spine twist. Fun, here we go. Identify left, identify right, don't mix them up. Bend your left leg on the floor, touch your right heel to your left knee corner. 
right arm close behind you, left arm up, stretch up and over. Grab your left knee with your left hand, hand heel, and knee all touch in one spot. Inhale, stretch up, belly in. Exhale, look over your right shoulder, twist. You can keep your hand behind you. You can also grab your hip, your waistband, one day your inner thigh. Point your left toes, keep your right foot on the floor. Inhale, stretch up, exhale, look over your right shoulder, twist, twist, twist. Good, change, unwind, swap out your legs. I'll show you this one from the side. Bend your right leg on the floor, touch your left heel to your right knee corner. Left arm close behind you, right arm up, stretch up and over. You're also welcome to keep your right leg straight, no problem. As you're ready, inhale, stretch up. As you look over your left shoulder, start to twist. You can keep your hand close behind you or do the half bind. Keep spine straight, chest up, rib cage open. Inhale, stretch up, pull your belly in. Exhale, look over your left shoulder, twist, twist, twist. Good, change, unwind, turn around, savasana. My, one of my favorite yoga jokes, how many yoga teachers does it take to screw in a light bulb? One to hold the light bulb and one to say twist, twist. Twist. Okay, here we go. We'll finish with a breathing exercise. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Ooh, I did the sit up. Yes, okay. Turn, come to the middle of your mat and towel. What a delight. So I've had a bad back, so I've been skipping the sit ups, but sometimes it becomes such second nature that I just did a sit up and it actually felt great. So just a reminder sometimes, like when we have an injury, we baby that injury, and that's not a bad thing, but every once in a while, try like the thing that you're avoiding. You'll surprise yourself from time to time. Okay, sit knees, feet together, hips on your heels, hands on your thighs. Kapal Bhati breathing, exhale through your mouth, snap your belly in. When the stomach relaxes, the inhale will happen on its own. Lick your lips, swallow a couple times. Concentrate, meditate, don't forget to have fun. Here we go. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Lift your lips, swallow a couple times. Sit up tall, arms straight, shoulders down, away we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good for you, honor yourself, give yourself a hug, high five, pat on the back, turn around, final savasana. Close your eyes, open your arms and legs. Stay a while, there's no rush. Take a slow inhale through your nose. And a slow exhale through your nose. Slow inhale through your nose. Slow exhale through your nose. One more time, slow inhale through your nose. Let it all go through your exhale breath. Picture yourself in perfect, radiant health. All right.